If you watch the astrophotography space here on YouTube these days, you would think that you literally need to make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to take part in astrophotography. And that's completely false. You can really get started on any kind of budget, even as low as $6. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. I'm Chad. This is the Easy Astro Images channel. We're going to show you how to play with some photons today on a six dollar budget for a little while now of course the first thing you want to do is go to the easy astro images channel here on youtube and click that subscribe and notifications button the second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and go to telescopelive.com and what you're going to do here is you are going to sign up for their six dollar a month pricing package what is this going to do for you, you say? Let me show you. What this is going to do is give you access to all of the data that you are going to ever want or ever need. I have been using it to subsidize my hobby here because I am limited on my astrophotography equipment right now. And because of my racing RC hobby, it's not in the budget right now. I'm hoping to complete my system again before the winter time here. And you're going to see a video coming up on the channel about it very soon. Why did I sell all my stuff? I'll put a card up here. You can watch that video and you can kind of judge for yourself if it's worth the gamble to drop the thousands of dollars that you can get into with this hobby. So. After you get Telescope Live, and we're going to go into more about that in this video, it's pretty much what it's going to be all about, even though we'll do a full processing whole video to show you what you can get from this in the future, but let's just keep on going. Get yourself your Telescope Live subscription for six bucks. Go to the licenses page of PicksInside.com. Request your free trial license for 45 days. Make sure you watch some videos on Picks and Sight and workflows and all that stuff, or reach out to me and I can give you some data so you can follow through my step-by-step -step videos as well to get yourself all acquainted and your feet wet so you get your most out of your 45 days before you decide if you're going to take that plunge. You always got to factor in software costs in to your astrophotography costs, unfortunately, because it's just kind of the way it is. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to RC Astro. RC Astro is where you are going to find all of the amazing software that people are using these days, including myself, like Blur Exterminator, Star Exterminator, Noise Exterminator, all the exterminators, whether you're going to be using Photoshop or Pixinsight. He's got free licenses for you as well. I think they're 30 days, maybe 15 days. I'm not sure, but go and check it out. The last thing I want you to get, which I really love to use and is totally free and getting better every day, is a Graxpert. Now, Graxpert is a tool that is going to remove gradients if you live in a light polluted area or eh, we just get gradients anyway. We get color gradients from filters and all that kind of stuff. They've also just came out with a brand new version, 3.0, which uses AI noise reduction as well. And it's all free and it works really, really well. It seems to work way better these days on an Intel machine with an NVIDIA GPU, but so does the RC Astro stuff. Eh, it works pretty good on Mac too. But anyway, so go get all of that free stuff and you are going to be ready to go. Now let's go back to Telescope Live here. So really right, right now I am on the silver plan, which I actually just downgraded it to the non-silver plan because I haven't been doing any login request for images. So what am I talking about here? With Telescope Live and the other online services, what you can do is you can set up imaging plans using their telescopes and you can collect data and all that stuff on your own. Um, you just tell them what you want and what kind of filters you wanna use. You pick their telescopes, all that kind of stuff. You set one up. We'll show you guys how to do that in another video down the road, but it's a little bit too complicated right now for what we're talking about. What six bucks is going to do, and if you want to add a little bit more to it, but you really don't have to, is if you go over here and you click on one click observations, you are going to have access to purchase 
their entire library of all of the images, pretty much of anything that you want. And you can download their data that they have taken and you can go ahead and start working and processing that stuff. So they've got all kinds of tutorials and everything on here that show you exactly what you're getting, how to process them. There's a lot of great stuff, but let's just start with an example. The Eagle Nebula. I cannot see the Eagle Nebula from my location. It's blocked from the trees. I'm never going to get it no matter what, but I want to process it and play with the Eagle Nebula. So here we go. There's different variations of the Eagle Nebula that they have taken with their Australian telescope, with their Chilean telescope, CMOS sensors, what kind of filters they're using, HSO. So let's say I want to get this version, which is a wide field version, or let's say I actually want this close up version right here. And it's going to bring up and show you the pillars of creation right there. The cost is 1.1 credits, which you get all kinds of credits. You get like six credits for your six bucks. And I think you get bonus credits when you start buying and up into the plans as well. You can see right now I have a balance of 252 credits. And with the price of all of their images, I could literally just buy, I mean, probably a hundred pictures or not of more. I mean, they're all around like a buck or something like that. You can also sort by things like price. So the highest, most expensive one is usually like a comment or something like that, because yeah, the comment over here, um, eight credits. So you can't beat that. You and the reason why is because it's a lot of images. So it took them a lot of time and a lot of work to get all that stuff together. And then, you know, we might not ever see comments. So you can go ahead and process all that stuff and look at how cool, like some of these images are right here. So this is the comet Atlas 2023. And there's the comet right in the middle of all this beautiful star field, dark nebulosity, all that kind of stuff. So man, it's just great. You can download all that and go ahead and process that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to find that Eagle Nebula again going to show us what each of one of these looks like. And this is pretty great because you're going to get three oxygen, three sulfur, three of the H alpha. Then there's, they added a little bit more to it. There's three more oxygen, another alpha H alpha, and then some sulfur data as well. And what that is going to allow you to do, since you've got more than three images, it, per filter just kind of makes it easier in PixInsight. That is going to allow you to combine all of those in PixInsight and do your automated batch pre-processing. It's going to smash them all together. It's going to give you a picture for each one of those filters that's integrated. These are all calibrated and all that stuff. So they've done all the, the lights and the darks and the biases and the flats. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, all that stuff, check out one of my processing videos. Check out this one here that I'm going to show you. This is one of my most popular ones and people absolutely loved it. And you'll probably recognize the Pleiades. Everybody loves the Pleiades. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead and say, Hey, I want to buy this thing. And I am going to say, continue to download and download now. And now it's going to give you basically a pretty, just a quick, rough enhanced picture of what they do. They do like these little like example pictures when you buy to kind of show you what you're getting. We're getting, of course, all the fits images and all that kind of stuff. And you can see that it is already downloaded into my downloads folder. And then all I need to do is just move these things around inside of my computer. And we can just go into the downloads folder real quick here. And there are all of our pictures ready to go. We can then move all those into PixInsight and we can go ahead and start working on our processing video and you can do all of this for six dollars and again this is something that even once you get into astrophotography and you've got your setup maybe two maybe three setups who knows some of you guys are just crazy out there my garage isn't big enough neither is my wallet but 
Again, like I said earlier, there's targets that you'll just never be able to get to, including southern targets if you live in the northern hemisphere. Or I guess it could work the other way as well if you live in New Zealand or something like that and you have a hard time shooting Orion. I think they have a hard time getting Orion down there. But, and, but I digress. This is definitely a handy tool for everybody. There's also other services out there that provide this stuff. If you're into more of the hands-on type of stuff and you got a little bit bigger of a budget, I believe that iTelescope is another great choice that you can get into. Each month they give you an ulti, like ultimate catered image to you, depending upon how much you subscribe to each month. I believe at 20, 40, 80 100 the price goes up they'll give you like hundreds of images of a single sometimes two targets per month that they have done that are superior quality that you can go ahead and download and play with and then of course they have a vast array of telescopes that you can schedule and rent time on it's a little bit of a difficult process but they've definitely improved over the years and we'll revisit them in another video down the road so I encourage you guys to try this out. I hope this has helped some of you guys out there figure out how you can get into astrophotography as these tools and free subscriptions kind of expire. If you plan on taking the plunge or you're starting to take the plunge, then you can start buying up one or two at a time. I would definitely start with something like Blur Exterminator first. That way you can use that in a free app like Graxpert to do your noise reduction and gradient reduction. Picks in sight, of course, there's Serial. There's a few other type of uh, programs out there, Adobe Photoshop, but some of those have definitely fallen out of favor in recent years compared to Picks in sight. Serial was really, really on a very, very good development path there for a while. I need to get back into Serial and see what's going on with them and their community. I haven't seen any videos popping up of it lately, so maybe development has slowed or stalled. I'm not sure. But anyway, I love you guys all. Appreciate each and every one of you. Peace.